When was the last time you were in here? Um, about a month ago. And it was not like this. <laughs> it's hard to describe how it feels to walk inside your childhood home and see how squatters have left it looking like this. And sadly, it's not the first time that Jesse Larson has seen her grandparents' home wrecked by squatters. This has been happening for months now. Larson called Alaska's news source for help. And investigative reporter Rebecca Palsha has the story tonight. Rebecca? Mike, the house sits boarded up, paint peeling, used condoms in the yard with the words, keep out, written on plywood. The house on the corner of Eagle Street and East 14th Avenue. It's very sad, <laughs> just because it's the house that my mom grew up in. Jesse Larson called us describing what it looks like inside. She had pictures. In one, 30 people. Squatters are crammed inside the basement of her grandparents' home. They both recently died. They were just everywhere. Chairs, random chairs, on the floor, in the bedroom, five people on the bed, just everywhere. And when we walked in that day when the cops came and we took my grandma, there was some girl shooting up in her foot, smoking meth, somebody cooking in the kitchen. Drug concerns and drug cases. Jesse documented the situation for months. We are trying to file a report for fraud, um, drug dealing. Called Anchorage police, reported complaints online. She even confronted people coming outside and boarded up the home. I think that's that Randy dude. But she could not get anyone out. One man, Jesse said, told police he had a lease. Another person, she says, mm -hmm. told police they were taking care of her grandparents. We asked police to clarify what happened. In a statement, APD says sometimes there wasn't enough information for a report to be filed online. A separate time, APD says, it investigated and criminal charges were filed and officers told Larson to pursue civil action. Another time, APD says, People who had permission to be in the home who refused to leave is a civil issue, and the eviction process should be pursued through the court system. Hello? <laughs> this is crazy. Jeez. Oh, it smells so bad. Oh, it does smell bad. The door was torn off, so we entered the house through the basement. Hello? Sorry, I'm just scared. No, you're good. <laughs> Memories. Mixed with needles, drugs, and condoms. I, I just can't believe it's gotten this much worse since we've boarded it up. She used to babysit us all the time. I colored that picture for her right there. There are still things of value. These are Pioneer Woman. I actually got her these for Mother's Day last year. <laughs> I'm surprised they're still here. And they're not broken. And they're not broken. I'm taking them. Jessie's now taking care of the home. Jeez. Looking like this, she isn't sure it can be sold or what she can do. This is insane. Okay? And people keep sneaking in. And again, Larson says that their family hopes to sell the home, but they are not sure that can happen because of all that damage.